Hi kids, having trouble sleeping? Of course you have, because the first sergeant hasn't been here to tell you any stories. But I'm back, and here we go. Back in 1899, the Marine Corps was graced with the presence of a 5 foot 6, 135 pound recruit. He joined the kick ass in Cuba, but by the time he finished recruit training, the war was over. So they sent him to the Asiatic fleet to kick it a little in the Far East. Luckily, China was starting to f shit up in the early stages of the Boxer Rebellion, and Dan was ready to get some. One night, Private Daly was put in charge of holding down the fort at the U.S. Embassy while his unit went to gather reinforcements and supplies to fortify the exposed post. That night, a giant crowd of Chinese boxers bum-rushed the embassy, and it was up to Dan to hold them off. The next morning, his unit found him smoking a cigarette among 200 of his slain enemies. <laughs> that was his first Medal of Honor and also served as a message to the world that you do not f with Dan Daly. Years later in Haiti, Gunnery Sergeant Daly and a platoon of his Marines were on a recon patrol when they were ambushed while crossing a river. The machine gunner was hit right away, so their biggest weapon rested comfortably at the bottom of the river while the Marines moved up to set defensive positions. Dan Daly decided they would be a lot more effective with it, so that night he snuck back out, dove to the bottom of the river, and brought it back up so they could sweep through the jungle, mowing down rebel units like it was their job, because it was their job. Because of Daly, those 35 Marines took out 400 enemies, and he earned his second Medal of Honor. When Dan Daly died, he was reincarnated as an American destroyer and earned eight battle stars during World War II. The USS Daly kicked ass for 27 months of faithful service. Most likely because Dan's ghost was in the ship, motivating the hell out of those sailors. Good night, kids.